Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn my easy way of contouring and highlighting. I am no makeup artist, so if I can do this, you can do this. So let me show you what I do if I want a dramatic highlighting look. There's easier ways to do it. I have a sculpting trio that does our contouring and highlighting, but if I really, really want to look good, this is what I do. This is a little trick I learned at a meeting. I first take our concealer, which let me tell you lasts forever. I mean, this is going on like seven months and there's still a lot in there. So our products are gonna last you a long time. So what I do is I put a dab on there and that'll start to warm up because it's very thick. I mean, this will cover tattoos. So let it warm up on your hand. And then here's my secret ingredient, BB cream. Now this is an extra step, it's not necessary, but I saw it done in a meeting, and now that I've seen it, and I've used it, I can't do it any other way. I do this every day, I love this. So put a dab. Now, I have on my face right now, primer, I have foundation, I did some color on my eyelids, and some eyeliner. I didn't do mascara or lipstick yet, and you'll see why, because I'm gonna make a mess. So, while this is warming up, I take the concealer brush, Muni concealer brush, and I mix this up. And I'm going to show you what I do. So I start at my nose, I go up, and then make like a, kind of like a fan, or I guess it looks like a chicken foot. I go under my eye. I kind of go as close to my lashes as possible, down my nose, make a triangle because you don't want to look weird with white streaks on your eyes. Okay, so I make like a triangle, you want a little on top of your cupid's bow because that's where the light reflects, underneath your lip and make a little triangle. I'm only gonna do one side so you can see the difference. All right, now my secret is a blending bud. This little guy, I was terrified of. I didn't know what to do with it. It's taken me six months to even try to use this thing. I don't know why it was so scary, but it was. So I'm not afraid of this little guy anymore. So I decided to just try it. So you wet it, you wring it out, and you just blend. So I'm gonna take this and I dab. I don't swipe. You're just gonna dab it in. I start at the top and kind of work my way down. And this um, BB cream mix with the concealer, it gives you a really amazing glow. It just brightens your face and covers everything. And if you get some on your lips, it's actually good. It makes your lipstick look amazing. Kind of sets it. All right, now see, that wasn't hard. That wasn't scary. This thing didn't bite me. So see, like, I don't know why I was scared of it, but look how amazing that did. I used to use a brush for it and have, like, brush marks. This is perfect. I don't know if you can see the difference. You can see how I am freckly on this side. This side looks smooth and pretty. See the glow? You see that? All right. Next. This beauty. Okay, this makes it really, really easy. They made it simple. So whether you're really good at makeup or just an amateur like me, this is what you want. Okay, so this has a nice flap that shows you where to put each product. And so you can't mess it up. It's easy. It's like makeup for dummies. There's your dark creamy color. And this is like a highlighting powder. And this is a shimmery, it's, it's kind of, um, it's like a thick cream. So I'm gonna show you how I work with these. A concealer brush. You gotta have this in your life. I don't care what concealer or palette you use. This is, this is a nice brush. So you're gonna take this end, this angled end, dip it in the dark. Okay, and you're gonna go from the top of your ear 
to about the edge of your eye and you can kind of guess where to put it. <laughs> I like to make a funny face, then I know exactly where I need it. I have a really round face, so I like it to look chiseled. So, suck in your cheeks, look like a fish. And go along the edge of where you see that start. See that line? Okay, can you see that? And I take it down along my jaw. This is where I am full in my face. I'm gonna get some more. So I want to come down here. I wanna go down my nose. See that? And I wanna come along my forehead. So do you see everywhere where you want to contour? This is to give you a nice, chiseled, perfect look. I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna take, you know what, I'm gonna keep this end and I'm just going to go upward strokes. And you wanna blend it so you don't look like you have a dirty face, but you also don't wanna blend it totally away where you can't even see that you did anything. I'm kind of going upwards in circular motions. Now, if you're older, or you have, um, and sometimes I'll just take my finger here. If you have a thinning face, a very thin face, you don't wanna thin out your temples anymore. It'll age you. It'll, it'll make you look older than you are. I am really full, so I like to make this look thinner. If you're thin, don't put it in your temple. You want your temple to look fuller. Okay, so you seen that? I'm gonna blend a little bit more. Okay, so you can see, and you can take your finger and just anything you see, see the difference? See? Okay, now, I take this end, and I'm going to put it in this translucent powder, the shimmery highlighting powder. And I am going to go up, push up along where I highlighted, down my nose, forehead, same places that you put it. Just push up, you don't want to, you just want to tap, that way it sets it. And it doesn't look like it's it's still real wet. And it's not going to move. Okay, now this part, I like to use my finger. So just swirl. I'm not getting this. Okay, so it'll look like this. It's like a shimmery cream. And I go along my, my bone here. And I don't know how well you'll see it in the video. But it gives you just some shimmer on that bone. It makes it pop. And I kind of go up around my eyebrow and below my eye, right on that bone. Can you see that? Sorry, my nose is running. Okay, so what do you think? It wasn't, didn't take long. And I used a lot of products, so it wasn't like an easy way out. This was like full, full contour and highlight. Now, it, when I do my blush, I'm gonna go above this line. And that's where your blush is gonna go. Other than that, that's all it is. It's piece of cake. So stay tuned for something new.